Lo que es bueno, hermanos. It is Ronan the Traveler. Look, I want to give a shout out to all the brothers out here living their lives. Shout out to the Passport Bros, Black Man Options, and to the Blue Book. I appreciate you guys, man. Last night, I was able to chop it up with a young brother. It was wonderful. I don't know the last time I sit on the phone that long, but he follows the content and he asked me, he said, look, man, can I talk to you? I just want to talk to you, man. You really in inspired me. I'm like, look, man, hit me on the email. We swapped numbers. He called me up and we just had a wonderful conversation. It feels good when you can talk with somebody and give them a little guidance and y'all can run things past each other man it, it, it felt good man that's that's why i made the channel to be able to do this because my channel is all about men exploring the options having a good time coming to the Dominican Republic and knowing what to expect i talked about those three women man that good woman that gold digger you gonna meet and the working girl and i wanted people to experience it man so my thing is you know i tell stories i let them know my trials and tribulations because i'm a real dude like that but the brother he just he wanted to really chop it up with me man and, and we got into some deep subjects man and one of the subjects we talked about was all the hate on youtube not just for travel bros but in general but I was telling him, man, you got to look at this stuff, man. This stuff goes steep, man. If you look at, like, YouTube, it's like a street full of urine, man. Like, like in New Orleans, we you, you walk through the French Quarter, Bourbon Street, whatnot. You will smell like piss, man. And that's how black YouTube is, man. I told y'all before, man, look at your favorite content creators, man. Look at how they just beef with each other. I don't care if it's the travel sector. Look, look at any sector. Look at just black culture, period. Whether it's comedians, they beefing. Whether, look, even your so-called pro-blacks, all they do is fuss with each other. These supposed to be the best and brightest. So, like I was telling them, this is the culture now. And it, it's not just now. I remember being young. Now, we were talking about this. Now, after our high school games, man, we had football or basketball. And we would go after the game to a restaurant. We would eat within an hour. These ninjas would be out there fighting, going crazy. Now look, the white dudes from the school would go to the AutoZone parking lot and not never had one incident. So eventually, the cops start coming out there, breaking up everything. And people started crying racism you say you're not messing with the white guys but the white dudes weren't the ones out there acting crazy we were and and that's how things are right now so he was and, and what made us get on that he was like look man i see people taking shots at you but you don't respond to it i'm like dude if you want to be in youtube you got a tough skin man and you got to realize that when you start growing people are going to hate on you you know so you got to put your put in the work man you don't worry about haters haters gonna hate man because a lot of people don't really know how to make content good so they content is hating on somebody else that's what the content is man so my thing is just let's just be you know youtube can cut off everybody check tomorrow for whatever reason like if they come money we put all that energy into building something that we put in the hating on each other i'm not a hater man i'm a congratulator i see people trying to better themselves i help them that's how i am man because one thing i know is that men especially black men man a lot of them are suffering in america man they're going through uh, a lot of different things man and, and even black women man but black women have something we don't they will they will stick together we don't stick together at all man you would think somebody cool with you and they're stabbing your back, man. That's what we live in, man. So what we have to do, these are a lot of the problems, but the solution is just to work, grind it out, and stick together.
if we stick together, we can build stuff, man. It's about building, not hating on one another, man. So that's where I'm kind of going. I just saw Charleston White that took a, a shot. And, and I saw it across my uh, YouTube. Just got shot at the passport, bro. Man, people, man, people don't need to worry about these internet trolls and clowns like that, man. Just stay on your purpose, man. I think the passport movement is a wonderful movement, man. I, you know, shout out to BMT, them, man, for pushing, just for just holding it, man. I see how why they're trying to clean up passport, bro. I understand all those things, man. And I tell people, man, I do what I do, and there's nothing you can do about it. So if, if you're not down, do your own thing, man. Like, like people know me, man. One thing I, I hate more than anything else is the police. The policing is one thing I hate. Man. Telling grown men what to do with themselves, man, is, is stupid, man. And like the black community is one of the only communities I see doing that. Other communities don't do that. There, I, I, I've never saw white dudes telling other white dudes or Asian men or anybody else who they should be sleeping with or what they should be doing. And that's something that we have to change. So men have to fight back, reshape your narrative. You control your narrative. Don't let other people control your narrative. Don't let a person tell you that if you go pay for a woman that you this or that, it's all paying. You're always paying something. Let people do what they do. I would never shame a man for having fun. You mean to tell me Stella can get her groove back, but Steve can't? Man, that's some BS, man. And the reason this stuff is, exists is because a lot of men are weak. They don't fight back, man. You have to fight back. If you was in that jail cell with Percy Earl and he, he wants your giblet, you're going to fight back and you'll give it to him. You know, don't fight back. We'll fight back on everything, you know? Stand together as one, man. So that's all I really wanted to say, man. We out. Y'all brothers have a good day.